Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be talking about the Powell Peralta G Slide Wheels. So these were actually originally a downhill long burning wheel, but because of its shape and its size, it makes it really good for skateboards. Now the version I have is the 56mm version, and they only come in one durometer, which is the 85A. And it's a relatively wide wheel, with its overall width coming out at 38mm. And using my calipers to measure the wheels, it's very consistent to what the product page actually says. So to start off, I think it's a really great cruising wheel for those that need to really have that grip, but also need to slide, especially when it's coming down to high speeds. I think the best way to describe these wheels is that they grip when you need them to, but they slide when you need them to, at least on flat ground, and we'll get a little bit more into that. Now for the slide, it's a short grippy slide rather than a very long slippery slide that you might get from a hard wheel, but this can also depend on how fast you're going and what type of surface you're skating on. But of course with a softer wheel like this, you do want a shorter uh, grippier slide rather than a slidey one. Because generally you're going to go pretty fast on these wheels and having that power slide to slow you down is going to help a lot with maintaining board control. Now I found that these wheels handled a lot of variety of surfaces very well. It was a mostly smooth ride with bumps here and there, but these wheels did not do very well on the extremely chunky, very rocky type of roads. But honestly, that's really normal for a wheel like this, and I find that softer drawner wheels don't really handle those types of roads well either. Now the wheels do have a lot more vibration compared to a softer wheel, but it's not very uncomfortable. So generally with softer wheels, when you're riding over like cracks or whatever and you feel the vibrations, generally that feeling of vibrations is muted. But with these wheels, you are going to feel the vibrations a little bit more, but it's not where it's like feels very uncomfortable and shaky. It's just kind of like the vibrations is there and you'll feel it, but it's not going to ruin the whole overall rideability and enjoyability of them. And since they do slide very well and easily in my opinion, they're pretty great for controlling speed when going fast. But a thing to note is that with these wheels, if you are trying to slide, you do need to commit to it 100%. Because if you just try to do like a little bit of slide when you're trying to do a full power slide, or you don't really fully commit to it, then you're just going to get pitched off your board. I also find that you can easily slap it with these, at least in my experience. And I think a lot of people that enjoy like cruiser wheels but also want to slap a curb here and there are going to very much like these wheels. So yeah, I said a lot of good things, but what about the bad stuff? So I would say that aside from stuff like 50-50 grinds and maybe 5-0 grinds, any other like ledge or tech trick or anything like that that makes the wheel make contact with the deck isn't going to work. The wheel bite on these are pretty unforgiving. And doing stuff like crooks or whatever where the wheel makes contact with the board just isn't going to work. You are going to want a harder wheel than this if you plan on doing a ton of like tech and flip tricks or whatever type of tricks that requires such a harder wheel. So I find that with nose and tail slides they kind of work. And I find that you need to be going much faster than usual or uh, the curb or ledge or whatever you're skating has to be very slippery and very waxed. Or you can do it in a such a way where you do a nose and tail slide, but the wheels aren't making contact with the obstacle. But that is very difficult to do, as it's just generally easier to put the entire thing onto the obstacle with the wheels touching. And for the big white shape, it can feel very unwieldy and hefty to someone who's not used to that sort of shape. And they're more used to a standard skateboard uh, size wheel shape. Also for these wheels, just because it has the ability for an easier slide compared to other softer wheels doesn't mean that you are automatically granted the knowledge and the power to slide. That is just something that only practice and knowledge and the ability to do power slides will grant you. And learning how to actually power slide will bring out the full potential of these wheels. So I wouldn't say that you should buy these wheels expecting to automatically make power slides very very easy. Because of course with a harder wheel the power slides are much easier. And with a softer wheel, it's going to take some time getting used to. That being said, it's not like you can't learn power slides on these. It's just that you're going to need to go outside and skate and practice a lot before getting it down. And that is very much true generally in the whole skateboard like uh, world of gear. So I've been skating these wheels for about a total of two months on and off. But I've also had a couple other sets before. And 
all three of these sets just felt the same and consistent. The urethane is holding up very, very well. And none of these have ever chunked up or have pieces torn off the wheel. And for these sets of wheels, after my time of skating them, they went down a little under one millimeter in size. So they're around 55 points, like about half or whatever size. Overall, I believe these are a great wheel for those that needs a soft wheel, but they need the ability to slide much easier. And maybe along the way, make it easier to do slappies or whatever other sorts of tricks. But if you are looking for a very smooth ride where you just want to get a point A to point B without doing any other like slides or like other tricks, a softer wheel would be a better way to go just because it handles vibrations much easier. And if you are trying to get a wheel that allows you to cruise along and also do a ton of variety of tech tricks and like ledge tricks and all of that, a wheel that's a harder durometer and also a slimmer shape would be a better way to go. So yeah, that has been another video review. If you think I missed anything or you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.